Well, hello, all of you beautiful BPEA partners. Stephen Carlton here, live on location, recorded on location in Pangertung, Nunavut, uh, my family's hometown community. Absolutely stunning place. You can see the mountains behind me. If you head straight down that way, you go straight into uh, what's called the Auyuiktuk National Park. It's a it's a federal national park, uh, well, national park, and. Uh, a lot of people head down that way and they go on these wild adventures. Uh, I can't understand why they go on these crazy adventures, uh, but they do. And here in um, Matthew 16, Jesus takes his disciples on a bit of an adventure as well. And uh, in this adventure, they, they go from the, the region, the Galilee region, north to uh, Caesarea Philippi. Right now, that's essentially Mount Hermon and uh, the base of Mount Hermon and you know you have Israel, you have Syria and Israel, sorry Lebanon, Syria, Israel, uh, all of there and and uh, and here this is where you know Jesus is revealed as the Messiah, as the as the Son of God and it's a famous passage of scripture that you and I both know uh, but I just wanted to bring up something because Jesus says, you know, who do people say that I am? And uh, some said, well, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, some say Jeremiah, one of the other prophets. And Jesus said in verse 15, but who do you say that I am? It's important that we understand that we, we continually remind ourselves who Christ is. Because if Jesus is just a man, if Jesus is just an important figure in, the, in a, an important book, well, then he's not a whole lot to us, right? There's no power behind that. But when you and I understand that he is, in fact, the Son of God, therefore, the most powerful being in, in, in existence changes things. Simon Peter said, you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus said, you are blessed, son, Simon, son of John, because my Father in heaven has revealed this thing to you. You did not learn this from any human being. Now I say to you that you are Peter, which means the rock. And upon this revelation, upon this rock, I will build my church. And the, all the powers of hell will not conquer it. And I give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven. Whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. Absolutely amazing piece of scripture. It's a time when, when humans realize that he is, in fact, the Son of God. And, 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 you know, and then Jesus went on to talk about his purpose. He was going to Jerusalem. He was going to die on a cross. And, and um, I mean, really an important thing for us to remember. You know, we, we know that, that Jesus is God. We know that, that, that Jesus is the most powerful thing. But, but sometimes we just we can forget that. We can almost lose sight of the fact that that's who he is which is perfectly normal when you think about it, but also it's important that we remember who he is because sometimes in our lives there's just some things that we need to remember whom our power comes from, whom the authority comes from, because in that authority we can take uh, action against things in our lives, we can call down on heaven, we can release things that need to be released, and, uh, and then that's, that's a truly amazing thing. I think that is the purpose of the Christian faith walk. Here in Pangertung, we've been having some amazing meetings with young people and, and mothers and fathers and, and teenagers encountering Christ. And, um, you know, when, when teenagers are writhing because a demon inside of them is not wanting to let them go and, 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 you know, demons are telling them not to go up to the altar for prayer, it's a good thing to know who Jesus is and what that name carries. So over you folks, I speak blessing in Jesus' name. Remember who God is. Remember what authority you have in his name. And uh, that's where our battles are fought. That's where the, uh, the, the movement happens, is when we remember that authority. So bless you folks, and uh, stay tuned. Go for God, and uh, don't give up. <laughs>